Is this too much? I don't think so. I think it's fun. I think there's a place and part and time for everything. We're going to be playing with my new uh, Pantone palette from Sephora using this quad up here, all four of those colors, and this color, which is Radiant Orchid. And this is the look I created for you. Um, I like it. I think it's really super fun and bright, and if you feel like trying a new bright look, this might be one for you. Don't worry. If, you, if not, I keep doing neutral looks, too, because I do it all. I love all makeup. All makeup deserves attention and love. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Except for bad eyelash glue. We don't like bad eyelash glue. We say no to the bad eyelash glue. Anywho, if you want to see how I created this face... Can you see it? Can you see it? Radiant Orchid inspired. Yeah, that's the theme. It's out of that palette, so I figured, why not? Let's do it. Let's make it work. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Thanks. Yeah, doing my eye first. Making it quicker. Using this little section here. Let's make this match. Let's play. I feel like Elmo today. Let's play all day using my MAC paint pot and paint chili. We're gonna paint chili our eyes. Give me a nice smooth base. I figured when I was playing with this look that it was best to do um, eye makeup first, but it's gonna be a pretty complicated look. But I just didn't feel like uh, you would wanna sit through both eyes. And I like you guys staying with me, so I thought, hey, we'll do it this way. All right, so first I'm gonna take some Wet n Wild Fergie on the edge, long wearing eye pencil. Really a soft formula. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to waterline. Look how fast that was. Bam! I don't know how long it lasts. Tight line. But, we're gonna give it a try. Now we're gonna take the scandalized color in Hydrofuge. It's so peacocky, it's unbelievable. And just partially over. Not being very careful about how the shape looks, so don't even worry about it. Because we're laying some powders over it. What brush do I use? Ooh, here it is. Okay, we're gonna use the uh, green color of that quad on a tart brush. And I'm going to pull my eyelid down, sorry. And I'm going to pat that over the black, pushing it into the lash line as I do it. <laughs> so weird looking. I'm also going to sweep that across my eye space over the hydrofuge. Same green. Do the same on top. I could use a bigger brush to do that. I'm just pushing it into the, the crease area here. There's so many colors that are going to go on in this look. You just got to have fun with it. Going towards the inner corner. See it starts to shimmer out a little bit there. It's a beautiful emerald green. Very pleased with it. I am, oh, I am my boy wrangling up. We had pizza for dinner, so I'm sure he's still hungry. <laughs> okay, let's see, grab a brush. We're gonna take the uh, lighter blue. It's kind of like a tap off. And that's gonna go over here, up and high. You say, why? I say, wait. You say, why? Well, and just kind of blending that into the green. Just that part. <laughs> just that part. <laughs> yeah, I'm real technical, guys. Uh, back with that little brush, we're going to take the dark navy color and deepen this portion here. Okay, now with uh, the Radiant Orchid shade, which is a beautiful shade, by the way, we're going to 
it is. And it ma makes this beautiful, like, I don't know, it's just really pretty. It's just nice. It's just really nice. Put all the colors on your face at the same time every day. <laughs> it's kind of sad when you make yourself crack up too much. I'm just blending. Nobody else is laughing with me. I'm gonna take the light baby blue shade and just really just pack that right there. Kind of gives me a, I don't know what you call it, high holographic look. Blending this down into those shades. Same light blue shade. Yeah. I think that's it. Let's take some mascara. I'm going to use Voluptuous Volume by Ulta. I'm going to put lashes on, so when I put lashes on, I don't really care really what mascara I'm putting on my lashes. Maybelline Define a Brow in medium brown. I'm just going to map out our eyebrows because I'm going to use some of that Benefit Give Me Brow Gel that I just got in my hurl. I don't have any foundation on yet so I don't mind if I make little mistakes here and there because it's going to get cleaned up in a second. This, this uh, eyeshadow has a tiny bit of uh, fallout. It looks different. Somewhere it looks different. Let's fix the different. More navy. That's better. <laughs> Nobody else probably would have noticed. Give me a second. I'm going to put the uh, other eyelash on. Eyelashes on. Um, already primed. Out of section here. Out of primed with my... Uh... Can you see this? <laughs> Under Wonder Pore Primer from Perfectly Posh. Don't know if you can. Let's go in with some uh, Maybelline Fit in 130. Shake a shake a shake a. Put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use a foundation brush that I got off of eBay and start packing that in. Sorry, you have to sit through the makeup part. You're probably like, can't she just go ahead and put her foundation on? And then show me what it looks like. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about it. Sorry about it. Not really. Every now and then I think it's fun to let you see how I put my foundation on because it might change. This brush is actually pretty good. It um I've, I've really been using it all week since I got it, and I'm gonna wash them tonight and see how they wash, so I'll let you know how that goes. Cause that was the one concern I had. Get that nose. Was if it's gonna fall apart as soon as I wash it. So just trying to get in there. I'm gonna put some concern on our second. I went and saw my friend Wynn at the Hung Salon today, and she got gave me my my usual treatment, which is a, a delicious face wash and hair wash. And then her dad gives me a blowout usually on my hair but this time she, instead of giving my neck rub from when she had her dad do it and because she had another client came on came in come on come in come on and so I don't mind I'm, I'm very patient and such putting the foundation aside and let's get some concealer Maybelline fit me in 10 light my peelers coming off. These peelers come off. I hate stickers. Get some of this on here. Clean up under our eyes. Just try to push it in there without disturbing too much of the eyeshadow. Again, it's one of those brushes that I got off eBay that I'm going to wash tonight and see how it fares.
but it does a really nice job of pushing the um, concealer around. So, hey, we like concealer being pushed around. Let's set under those eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Anyhow, her dad gave me a neck rub before my blow dry because that's one of the things I do. They do the face face wash, which is a facial massage, hair wash, and a scalp massage, and then they give you a neck massage before they do the blowout. And now, Wynn's strong. She's very strong. But young is her dad, and he is strong. Really worked my neck out. I mean, points where it was like hurting, but now I'm just like, feel like soft noodles. It was great. I needed that. Fantastic. Okay, uh, let's set her face with some neutral set face powder from Ben Nye. Seriously, if you can get your hands on some, try it. Such an inexpensive version of the really nice, finely milled powders. And it works on everybody. All skin colors. Beautiful. It's lovely. It's delightful. It's... You know it was on uh, GCM last night? And I was so excited to watch it. Even though I don't think she's a very good actress, I think Marilyn Monroe is one of the most beautiful women. Um... <laughs> was bus stop and it just highlighted how bad of an actress she was and I'm sorry if you think she's a good actress <sighs> okay let's contour we're gonna take the chocolate soleil matte bronzer with the little kabuki brush that comes with it and since this is a dramatic look I thought let's go dramatic let's do it let's make this be all inclusive of drama so I'm just taking, oh, that smells so good. I'm just taking some of the matte bronzer and uh, contouring my nose a little too. See, I just pinched the brush to make it thinner. That's a trick you can do with any brush to sharpen up that line. Wow, I look weird. Do a little tip there and blend this in. This is getting a really long video. Yeah, that looks pretty good. A little bit of temple action, temple, temple. They give a good, I got a great temple massage too. It was fabulous. Milani's blush and Barry Amore. Love this blush. Absolutely adore. Fluffy brush from, it's the multitask brush from Real Techniques. Get some color back here. It does a great blush uh, dispersion. I like the gold fleck in this blush. And I think the, the rose part really complements the eye look. That's my opinion got some foundation on my eyelash. That is odd. So let's grab the black mascara and blend it in. There we go. This is the last wear out of the number 11s um, from Kiss. I get out of them anyhow. Taking some of the Gimme Brow from Benefit. I think I got medium deep. I actually really like this product. At first I thought, it's just a brow gel, but no, it's got some fiber and it's got some texture and it does have color in it and I like that. I do. The um, Anastasia brow turned out to be a no-go for me because I got the blonde color and it turned my brows kind of yellowy. I, did, I thought it'd be more topish. And it was not. So I'm going to return that one to Sephora and get a darker one. Excuse me. I just hiccuped. I need some sippy sippy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Grabbing a fan brush, we're going to take some of the Snow Bunny from my Bourjois, Bourjois palette. Love this thing. And finish the highlight from the eye down. Because... We are just taking this all the way, aren't we? Let's go all the way. Taking some more, get the tip of my nose. Get the upper bridge of my nose. Again, I like to leave this little pit right here. Get my upper lip. Get a chin. So simple, very long makeup look. But it's really fun and pretty, and we like it. Okay, lip liner is uh, Milani and Most Natural. Oops. Yeah. 
Isn't she lovely? I'm trying to pick which color I'm going to apply to my mouth. We're going to use uh, Berry Couture by Revlon. Yeah. I love Revlon lipsticks. Mm. Okay. Let's let her hair down. And let's be frank. Would you do this look? Is it too much? Is it too drag? <laughs> I think it's super fun. I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't wear this during the day. Well, you're more than welcome to rock it. Although I would wear it to this, to like festival or to a tattoo convention. Maybe a makeup convention. Um, shoot, I don't know. I think it's fun though. Get my boof. Bouncy hair. There we go. I like that side. Yay! So that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer them for you. I try to respond to everybody in my comment box because I am blessed that you're watching me. <laughs> I think it's the coolest thing that we're all friends. Um, it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun. See you next time.